very clear scripture and um, explanation of what we believe and and why it's folly for people for anybody just to just to listen to what other people say and not hearing it for yourself and not hearing a matter for yourself and you know I'd like to think that people in here wouldn't fault for for some hit piece videos or some people that are making their YouTube videos out there criticizing attacking the doctrines of our church but you never know and what I'd like to do is that's why I always want to stay ahead and make sure that everything we believe is very clearly taught very clearly explained from the scripture because there's there's lots of lots of just lies lots of misrepresentations about what we believe and one of them today that I'm going to bring up is you know they'll say oh you you don't believe in a gospel that that changes or that could bring change to somebody no actually we do we do because there is a significant change when a person gets saved because you're born again there's a spiritual birth that takes place the moment you put your faith on the Lord Jesus Christ that is a change that happens with inside a person in addition to the Holy Ghost coming and dwelling inside of you okay we do believe that the gospel brings new life we believe that you become a new creature in Jesus Christ and that that is there and that that is present absolutely so if someone goes and tries to tell you oh you don't believe in it you know basically it's a powerless gospel and you know no, we don't believe in a powerless gospel, but the, the key problem that comes in is that they want to, and I say they, the people who attack our doctrines and our beliefs, will try to tell you that essentially you look at a person's works to determine if they're saved. That is false. Just because a person has a new life, has a new creature, does not mean it's always outwardly manifested. So you cannot judge whether or not a person is saved just based on their exterior appearance or their works or whatever sin they might be involved with, drunkenness or whatever, and say, oh no, there's no way that person's saved because you know, if they really believe the gospel, then their whole life would be different. No. No, their whole life is different in the sense that there's a new creature, there's a new man, there's a new birth. Amen and amen. And that is powerful. And you know, that new birth and the gospel that brings new life can help a person do great things for God and completely change their life around and do wonderful works for the Lord. Absolutely. And we want to encourage people to walk in that spirit so that you can get rid of the lust of the flesh and you can mortify the deeds of the flesh and you can live godly and righteous and completely change your life around. That's what we want people to do. Amen. And I completely believe that that's possible and capable and ever present with you. But the problem is you cannot start looking at works to determine if someone's saved because works don't save. Works don't save.